These simple paper rockets will fly over 100 yards when launched from the rocket launcher I built in another project. But first, you need to build them. In this project, you'll learn how to use paper and foam to build high-flying rockets. I make my rocket bodies using one sheet of 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock paper and packing tape. The piece of paper is wrapped as tightly as possible around an extra piece of pipe that is the same diameter as the half inch launch tube. Once the paper is rolled around the pipe, I take a piece of packing tape and hold it in place. Then I use a longer piece of tape and cover the whole 11 inch overlap. To make the fins, I use another piece of the same cardstock paper and draw the first fin on it. Starting on a corner, I measure up the edge of the paper 2 inches and then in the other direction 1 inch. After connecting the two measurements, I cut out the fin. The second and third fins are made the same size by tracing the first fin and then cutting them out. I keep the fins small because I have found that rockets with larger fins don't seem to fly as far. My kids build their rockets with larger fins because they can more easily curve the fins and make the rockets spin when they fly. I attach the fins to the rocket body with hot glue. A line of hot glue is applied to the rocket body starting at one of the ends and going up two inches. After the glue is on the body, a fin is set into it and held perpendicular to the body until the glue is hard enough to hold it. The remaining fin locations are spaced evenly around the rocket body and marked to make it easier to know where to lay down the glue. Then the fins are attached the same way as the first fin. After the fins are on, the pipe is removed from the inside to get ready to attach the nose cone. The nose of the rocket needs to be airtight and be able to take the punishment of falling back to earth. Foam from an old swim noodle works perfectly as a nose cone. Using my utility knife, I cut a slice of noodle that is a bit wider than the inside of the rocket body. I then coat the inside of the rocket body nose with a generous amount of hot glue. I am careful to not let the glue run down the inside of the rocket body because it will stop the rocket from fully setting down on the launch tube. And the closer the end of the launch tube is to the nose of the rocket, the more powerful the launches are. The foam is pushed about one inch into the rocket body before the glue hardens. After the nose foam is glued to the rocket body, I take a utility knife and shape it a bit. This is hard to get perfect, and I do not know how much it matters, but it makes it look more like a rocket. Once my kids and I made a few rockets, we were ready for some launches. These simple rockets provide hours of fun and are a great way to spend time with my kids. If you like this project, perhaps you would like some of my others. You can check them out at my iCreatables TV YouTube channel. I've got a lot of new videos and great content coming up that I want you to be around for. Thanks for watching.